This is Takwitz Canyon, and this is where Jim saw his very first snake. And I couldn't explain why he's rarely come out of the house since then. <laughs> and that was a few years ago, we were here with some friends. We hiked up into the canyons here, up to see the waterfall. It's one mile up, you enter here, and then you just hike up one mile up into the canyons, right up there. That's downtown Palm Springs right there, the large buildings you see there to the left, or straight ahead, actually. So this is the parking lot. One of those rare occasions when I got Jim out of the house to go for a hike. We hiked from the visitor center here all the way up into the canyon. It's one mile to the waterfall, the Takwitz waterfall. The water was just flowing. I've never seen the waterfall so full. It was just beautiful. And I never showed that film footage. We joined some friends here. It was a beautiful day, cool. It was a very pleasant day, perfect day for a walk. And on our way back down, we were walking down a dirt trail and a snake, I don't know if it was a rattlesnake or what, but it just slithered right across the trail, right in front of Jim. He almost stepped on it. It just totally freaked him out. <laughs> that was the only thing he didn't want to see was a snake. And we definitely saw, he definitely saw his first snake. And you guys have asked a lot of questions, but no one's ever asked us about snakes here in the desert. I never saw a real life snake either. In all of those years growing up, all, all of the hiking that I did throughout the hills, never saw a snake. Have any of you seen snakes in real life? Share your stories with us. No, no, but it probably was a few months ago.
After narrowly escaping being bitten by a rattlesnake, we decided to head back to our cars and to drive a few short blocks down the hill to one of the most popular Mexican restaurants in South Palm Springs, El Mirasol. This was the first time here for me and Jim, and we both give it thumbs up. The food was really excellent. Have any of you eaten here? We are really fortunate to have so many excellent Mexican restaurants here in Palm Springs. Las Casuelas is still our favorite, and it's the one closest to our house, but the others are really good too. It was really great to spend some time with friends like this. It's not something we do very often. Two of the guys decided to move to the beach near San Diego, and the other couple lives about a half hour away, down at the other end of the Coachella Valley, and sadly, Michael died from cancer. I'm glad I have this video to remind me of that very fun day. Until next time, thanks for joining us, everybody.